Get out of here, Bartachi. That's mine. My uh -huh. coin. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Action Jackson channel. This time around, we're going to be looking at the Laguna Seca one-hour sprint that I did with the Pineapple Racing Club. This is going to be a real sandy race. There's lots that happens, so make sure you have a seat. Without any further ado, we are going to go take a look at the grid. Time to introduce the grid. Starting in first place, we have Banana, then Dominiac, Valtanin in his Spacey Lamborghini, Madel in his BMW, Jerry Lippinen in his Honda Remachine, Yang in his black and red Bentley, Mr. Brown in his dapper purple Bentley, Daniel Drift King Pozzoli, the McLaren, me, Weingarten in his yellow and black Mercedes, Mura in his NASA McLaren, Bartocci in his red and black Lexus, Del Campo in his Porsche with the orange racing stripe, and Krujan in his Martini Porsche. Crossing the line and going green, we go down to the first corner, everybody keeping it nice and tidy through the corner. Weingarten getting the inside and inserting himself into the lineup in front of us. Going up to the next corner, Weingarten goes wide and we end up taking the position back. This puts us in first place for the amateur class. I'll be taking that position back, thank you! Weingarten and Kimura getting pretty close to each other behind us as we barrel down into the corkscrew. Everybody getting through the corkscrew alive on the first lap. We go to the next couple of corners and everything seems pretty all right. We get through without any damage. We see Mattel, who seems to have encountered a bit of a spin as we finish off the first lap of Laguna Seca. Skipping a couple laps ahead, we're following Daniel Pozzoli down into the corkscrew where we see Heesh, the McLaren, has actually gone off. Dave is on the right side, and he moves over to the left a little bit to make sure that he can safely rejoin. However, this caught us a little bit off guard. We panic a bit and forget where the brake pedal is. This results in us basically forgetting to brake, going directly into the side of Dave and pushing both of us off the track at the corkscrew. Let's go to the driver for some more info. Oh, look out, Dave! <laughs> I'm sorry. Later on in the race, we did find out that this little incident gave us a five second penalty, but it didn't end up slowing us down that much. We'll get to that a little bit later on. After our little incident, we find ourselves behind Kimura's McLaren in the first section of the track as he takes a little bit too much curb on the inside and goes wide. This puts us back into first place for the amateur class while we chase down Dave in his purple Bentley. Skipping ahead a couple of laps, we've got Dave directly behind Pizzoli, going down into the exact same corner that we just looked at. Dave catching a little bit of oversteer and touching the dirt. They go into the long, fast right-hander, and Pizzoli makes the same mistake by taking too much curb and going a little bit wide. As he tries to correct, the car jumps into a little bit of oversteer, gripping up and then going oversteer the other way, which puts him into the back of the purple Bentley, causing him to spin as well. As you can see, us in the white Lexus, panicking, trying to find a safe route through, we do manage to get through this unscathed. Oh. Oh. <sighs> We're going to take a quick look at Dave's re-entry, as it seems like it's going to be a safe one, because he waits for all the rest of the cars to, to rejoin. As he's rejoining the track, he catches a little bit of dirt on the left side, causing the Bentley to spin right around again, going directly into the front of Bartocci's Lexus, ending both of their lives. Later on, we see Pizzoli going into the final hairpin, likely with dirty tires, which causes this little bit of oversteer, putting him in a spin. A few laps later, we have Krujan as a backmarker in this situation. He's being blue flagged by the two cars behind him. Lipponen in the red Honda doesn't notice until too late that Krujan has actually put himself into a spin by touching the dirt. Lipponen gets on the brakes, but by this point it's too late and ends up going directly into the Porsche, giving Heesh the position. With all that carnage out of the way, we move ourselves to the halfway point where we go into the pits. I want to take this time to remind everybody that if you're enjoying this video, please like and mash that subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on the bell so that you'll get notifications every time my videos go live. Exiting the pit lane, we come just out ahead of Lipponen. Now, our tires are cold and his are warm, so we're not going to fight this position as he tries to get by us and the pit exit. After a couple laps of nothing, Lipponen does end up pulling away from us and Valtanen closes a 12 second gap from behind us. Valtanen putting in his best race puts himself directly behind us and we buckle under the pressure of his chase, disappearing from view completely. Let's take a look at what happened here. The car was coming down the corkscrew and caught a little bit of airtime on the rear end, which caused it to oversteer. 
We managed to get on the brakes early enough so that we didn't go into the wall, but as we rejoin, we catch more oversteer because of the sand and spin the car right around. We ended up losing the position to Valtanen and Heesh, putting us in seventh place overall, but maintaining the first place position for the amateur class. Lap 36 now, almost at the end, we see Weingarten chasing a train of three into the corkscrew. Weingarten takes a page from our book, forgets to brake, and ends up throwing his car down the corkscrew without any regard for track limits. If we go down to the ground here, we see exactly how close Weingarten was to killing Dave. A couple of laps later, we find ourselves going around the last corner and bringing first place in the amateur class home for the Lexus boys, finishing seventh overall. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Make sure you hit that bell notification icon. That way you'll be notified every time my new videos go live. Also, make sure you check the links down below in the description. Down there, you'll find a link to the full race. You'll also find a link to all of my social media and ways to support me. I have a Patreon account, and I also have a coffee account, so make sure you check those accounts out down below, okay? We'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.